So I'd just like to apologize in advance. I'm editing the video that you're watching right now, and it turns out I've lost some footage, so this video is going to be a little bit all over the place. Still good information in there, so watch, enjoy, and uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. So first step, obviously take the wheels off. Second step, uh, for the rear, super easy. Just take the lower shock bolt out uh, either side and then the axle is gonna swing down, pull the springs out, put the new springs in. Bub is your uncle. What if my uncle's name isn't Bob? Well, it's gonna be. Uh, beware of bumpers, they, uh, they bite backs. We have a hoist, we can lift this up a little I mean, bit. We probably. really could. Uh, where did that nut go? It's somewhere down under the, under the compressor somewhere. Yeah, it went first. Okay, time. that's fine, we'll get it later. Right about there, close out of there? Sure. Since these are old nasty used coilovers, and the guy doesn't know what never sees it is apparently, we gotta loosen them all up, lube them up before we put them in the cart. I mean, the Never Seize doesn't come with the coilover, so no one's going to ever go put something on. <laughs> it's not mandatory, obviously, because it doesn't come with them. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Hey. Hey, look at that. I'd like to run a wire brush through everything first. Yeah, is that so? Because then you miss the golden moments like that. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> like saying that you're a skater boy? Yeah, I just said, I said see you later, boy. <laughs> So works. is this like turning into vlog stuff now and then? Is I mean, it happening? might as well, because it's not really how to if I don't know what I'm doing, right? Uh, where did I put that wire brush? Uh, you left it back over there. Somewhere over in the pile. Did, did you did it? Incoming! <laughs> Give me the yeet boy and free my soul. Wanna get tossed in a fucking hole. <laughs> getting, getting a little never seize on there. Mm, yes, extra tasty. Mm. Silver. I love silver. And once it's on your hands, it gets everywhere. And then you become the Tin Man. Okay. That's one done. Uh, oh yay! We got one. There's there's one done. Now it's gonna get set, forgot, <laughs> and never touched again. Yes. And and oh. Sorry, set back to exactly where it was before, not raised up at all, like we were talking about. Well, yeah, but I, I'd like to have it, you know, all the threads grabbing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck. You should never sleaze the little bolt, too. You should probably do that. Um, it's, a, it's a good practice uh, if you're putting suspension stuff in your car to uh, put some never seize on things. On literally everything! You never know when you get to it that it's going to turn into a crusty, rusty pile of poo. Watch your profanity! What's the chances this is also a 17 and that, that socket on the Uggy Duggy there is uh, correct? Uh, well, perhaps. Didn't you, no, you switched it to a 16, Carl. Oh, did I? Well, yeah, what's the chances you're... this is a 16? Wait. It's a 17. Yeah. Was it an 18? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. 18. Also, torque to spec. Since we're on the hoist, I'm going to use the trans jack. But if you don't have a hoist, you can do this on the floor with a floor jack. Um, you're just going to have to jack the swing axle back up so you can put the bolts in the shocks again. Just ram it in there. Thumb it in. <laughs> this is a family friend, this show. Wait, no. It's not YouTube. I don't make family friendly content. <laughs> This is not designed for children. Demonetization. Yeah. Stupid. I mean, it doesn't matter because I don't have a thousand subscribers anyways. Um, so, monetization doesn't affect me at all. Uh, bolt. Never sees. Never sees on everything. Yeah, hey, you know what you did with the never sees? It's no. back over there. No. <laughs> you left it over there still. Uh, 
Pop! Goes the weasel. How long do you think till you're driving your car? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm waiting on a couple gaskets and then I have to build a, an expansion tank. So um, if any of my current subscribers are interested in Subarus, Kyle has a very nice Subaru that he's been working on for a very long time because he wrecked one. <laughs> Tell them about it, Kyle. It was hungry, so it tried to eat a light pole. I didn't mean about that. I meant tell them about your car. Uh, it's I know it's a soft subject. I don't like talking about my Honda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an 05 WX. It's a fully built engine. Sorry, what? Fully built engine. Board, stroked, cammed. Uh, it's gone from a 2 liter to a 2.3 liter. And I have just recently built an exhaust to install a Borg EFR 7163. So hopefully I get 400 wheel horsepower and maybe squirt In a little meth into it. Insert meme spending 30000 on an EJ to make 400 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, I mean like, I, I do have a meme on my phone about that because Super right. Oh yeah, just smashing into everything. Yeah, just it. smash it all. Um, okay, rear is done. Now. Might as well do the front because it really You want to stick your tires on and just say what the heck? Yeah, I mean, we can stick the tires on. Uh, or do you want to wait until. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, we're going to have to position the springs every time we put it down, anyways. So, yeah. we'll just put them. I'll put the wheels on. And then we can do the front. So for the front is uh, slightly more complicated. It's not complicated, but it's more complicated than the rear. Um, There's more to it. First thing, again, ABS wires and uh, brake sensors. Mine's kaput. Brake sensors that are still attached. Yeah. Um, and then basically just the one bolt for the knuckle here. Uh, the shock is going to slide straight out, and you got one bolt up top for the. Uh, uh, top hat bearing sort of assembly. And that bolt there. And the thing just slides right out. So this one's a 21. Uh, the lower is 19. And yeah. There it is. Yeah, there it is. And choose to stick a chisel or something in the back where the hub opens up for the knuckle sorry. In the split there. Helps to release the strap. Give her a, a wiggle. Yeah. Some and a push. And some jiggles. See those guns? Look at it. Look at it. Flex. Veins. It's so blowing out because it's so yeah. pasty that <laughs> you can't even tell the definition of the vein or muscle or fat. It's all fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. What's that, Carl? <laughs> <laughs> These ones go in a lot easier because they're like half the length. Ow. Maybe not half the length, but they're shorter. So they go in a lot easier. Um, there's this tab on the back that's going to slide in the slot on the back of the knuckle where you put the chisel. Just make sure that's lined up. Slide it in until that Tab lines up with the bolt hole, put the bolt in, tighten her up. We're gonna have to get a jack under the knuckle to push the shock up because they're so short and then we can put the top nut back on and uh, put our ABS wires back on. Don't we have faith in there? Good. Oh yeah, that's loose. Remember kids, torque your wheels. Always torque your lug nuts. If you uh, if you go for a test drive and you hear clunking and you don't know what it is, it's probably your lug nuts because you forgot to torque them. I didn't do that. No, not at all. Definitely didn't go for a test drive. Look, at I'm torquing my wheels.